Prasanna, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. In this session, we will discuss about timers, counters and different modes of timer operations in 8051 microcontroller. Now, so before going to the modes of timer operations, we should know some small introduction regarding timers and counters. So, here in 8051 microcontroller, it consists of two counters or timers. Here the two timers are timer 0 and timer 1. So, timer 0 is of 16 bit and timer 1 is also of 16 bit. Now, here since it consists of timers and counters, what is the importance of having timers? and counters. So, here timers are used to generate the time delay whereas counters are used to count the number of events that are happening outside the microcontroller. And so, here 8051 is having two timers. What are the two timers means? One is timer 0 and another one is timer 1. And so, here each timer is of 16 bit in size. That means if we consider here timer 0, it is 16 bit and timer 1, it is also of 16 bit. And each timer can be used as two 8 bit registers. So, here if you use 16 bit timer as two 8 bit registers, it can be represented as TL and TH. So, for example, if we consider timer 0, it is a 16 bit register. It can be used as two 8 bit registers as one is TL0 and another one is TH0. So, TL0 means here it is 0 representing that it is timer 0 and TL it is an 8 bit register which holds the lower order 8 bits and here TH0 it is related to timer 0 and it holds the higher order 8 bits. And in the same way, another timer is also there. That timer is timer 1. It is also a 16 bit register. If we wanted to use this as two 8 bit registers, it can be represented as TL1 and TH1. So, here TL1 represents it is uh, timer 1, it is an 8 bit register which holds the lower order 8 bits. And here TH1, it represents higher order 8 bits which will be handled by timer 1. So, we can represent the two 16 bit timers as 8 bit timers by using TL and TH. And so, if we consider here counter, 8051 is having counter and that counter will be always counting up. So, each counter has a 16 bit count register in special function register area. And so, here it is having a 16 bit counter that is why the count value will be varying from 0000, 0, 0, 0 to FF, FF. H. So, why? Because here in order to represent any binary value, since it is handling here, we said it is having a 16 bit counter register. So, to represent that 16 bit counter register with the help of 16 bit value, the minimum value is 0000, 0, 0, 0 with the representation of 16 bit and next comes 0, 0, 0, 0001, 0, 0, 0, 0002. Like that, by using 16 bit, the maximum value we can represent here is FF, FF, H. So, that is why the 16 bit counter will be counting always towards up from 0, 0, 0, 0 to FF, FF, H. Now, 
So if the counter keep on incrementing by 1, that is counting up every time, from 0, 0, 0, 0, next, if the counter counts up, it becomes 0, 0, 0, 0, next it becomes 0, 0, 0, 1, after that it becomes 0, 0, 0, 2, okay, so on, and the last value, 16 bit value, it will be FF, FF, okay, so after reaching this maximum 16 bit value, again if the counter is incremented by 1, then it goes to 0, 0, 0, 0 again. Okay. After reaching the maximum value of a 16 bit counter, if the counter again count up, that is counter incremented by 1, again it reaches to the first value that is 0, 0, 0, 0, H. So this is what we call the rollover condition. Now, so this is called overflow condition. It has, uh, in order to say that this condition has occurred, when such type of condition has occurred, then one of the flag bit in the TCON register is OV flag. This overflow flag bit will be set. Now, so as uh, we have discussed that two timers are present in 8051 microcontroller. So, here the two timers are, one is timer 0, another one is timer 1. So, here timer 0, it is a 16-bit register. It can be used as two 8-bit registers as TL0 and TH0, where TL0 holds the lower order 8 bits and TH0 holds the higher order 8 bits. And another timer is timer 1. This timer 1 is also a 16-bit register. It can be used as two 8-bit registers, that is TH1 and TL1. So, here this 0 represents that it is related to timer 0 and this 1 represents it is related to timer 1. So, where this uh, TL1 holds the lower order 8 bits of this timer 1 and TH1 holds the higher order 8 bits of timer 1. So, these are the two 16-bit timers that are available in 8051 microcontroller. And so, here in order to access these timers and counters, we have different special function registers. This special function registers can also be called as uh, peripheral control registers that are related to this uh, uh, timer and counter. So, what are different special function registers related to timer and counter is, one is TCON register. So, here T represents timer and CON represents control. So, it is totally timer control register and another special function register related to timers and counters is TMOD register. So, here T represents timer and MOD represents mode. So, totally it is timer mode register. Now, what is the main function of this TCON register and TMOD register? Now, so here if we consider this is a TCON register. This TCON register is a 8-bit register. And coming to this peripheral control register related to timers counters, here we have another one TMOD register which is called timer mode register. And this TMOD register is also an 8-bit register. Okay. So, both these registers that are related to timers counters are of 8-bit only. And so, coming to the function of this TCON and TMOD registers. First one is here TCON register. So, TCON register indicates the status of timers. Whereas, next is, next special function register is TMOD register. So, TMOD register is going to say in which mode of operation the timer is going to operate. Okay. So, this TCON register, how it indicates the status of timers means it is an 8-bit register which is having the bits inside that says the status of timers 
and this T mod register is also an 8 bit register which indicates the operating modes of a timer. So, both of them are 8 bit registers. Now, so coming to TCON register that is uh, uh, one of the special function register, TCON register. So, TCON register is called timer control register. So, here timer control register which is also called as TCON register. This is an 8 bit register which is used to start or stop the timers of 8051 microcontroller. So, here in 8051 microcontroller we have two timers. One is timer 0, another one is timer 1. So, in order to start or stop the two timers, we can use this TCON register format. Now, so it also contains bits to indicate if the timers have overflowed. So, we can see what are different bits that says whether the timer has overflowed or not. And this TCON register also consists of some bits related to interrupts. Now, so if you see here, this is the general format of TCON register. So, it is an 8-bit register. It is an 8-bit register. So, here the 8 bits are, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, it is an 8-bit register which is used to start or stop the timers of 8051 microcontroller. So, as we said here, it consists of different bits related to say whether the timers have overflowed or not. So, here the two bits are uh, one is TF1 and the one is TF0. So, here this 0 represents it is related to timer 0 and whereas this 1 represents it is related to timer 1. So, these are the two bits that indicates whether the timer 0 has overflowed or this bit says whether the timer 1 has overflowed. We know what is meant by overflow. And so, here we have said that it is also consisting of some bits related to interrupts. So, here are the uh, four bits that are related to interrupts. One is IT, okay, and another one is IE. Uh, here, this zero represents these are the two bits related to timer zero, and uh, for these two, one represents they are related to timer one. And whereas here, this uh, uh, IT represents interrupted type, and IE represents interrupt edge. So, totally these are the four bits that are related to interrupts, two relates for timer 0 and two relates for timer 1. And so, coming to the discussion of all that eight bits that are present in this TCON register format. So, here this seventh bit in that format is TF1. So, this TF1 bit indicates whether the timer 1 has overflowed or not. And here 6th bit is related to TR1. This bit indicates whether timer 1 uh, has start bit or not. And the 5th bit is here uh, TF0. So, this TF0 indicates whether timer 0 has uh, overflow or not. And the 4th bit is T or not, it indicates timer 0 start bit. So, here these two bits are related for timer 0 and these two bits are related for timer 1. And remaining bits in the TCON register format is the third bit. So, this third bit is related to IE1. So, all these are the uh, four bits that are related to interrupts both for timer 0 and timer 1. So, if you see the third bit, it is IE1, which indicates external interrupt 1 edge flag. Whereas, here the second bit, it is IT1, which indicates 
external interrupt one type control bit and next is ie not which indicates external interrupt zero edge flag and it not which indicates external interrupt zero type control bit so this is what about uh, all the eight bits that are available in this t call register and another special function register related to timers counters is t mod register so here t mod indicates timer mode register okay so this timer mode register purpose is it is used for uh, knowing in which mode the timer can be operated and this t mode register is also an 8 bit register so here t mode register means timer mode register it is one of the special function register which is used to set the operating modes of timers that is t not and t1 so here we have two timers t not and t1 in which mode the particular timer has to operate can be set by using this t mod register so it is an 8 bit register so the timer can be operated in different modes there are uh, four different operating modes one is mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 and mode 3 okay so these are the four different uh, operating modes that the timer can be operated either it may be timer 0 or timer 1 but here timer 0 is of 16 bit and timer 1 is also of 16 bit now so here the lower 4 bits of uh, can be configured with the help of timer 0 that means if you see the register bit format of this uh, t mod register it is an 8 bit register among that 8 bits the lower order 4 bits are related for timer 0 and the higher order 8 bits of this uh, t mod register is related to timer 1 that means by changing the lower order 4 bits of this uh, t mod register we can make uh, this timer 0 operate in different modes and if we by using the higher order 4 bits of this t mod register we can configure this timer 1 that means we can set the operating mode for timer 1 now so here this is a uh, general format of this uh, t mod register that is timer mode register so it is an 8 bit register so if you see here these are all the 8 bits 0 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 7 so totally 8 bits are there so this is what t mod register so this is the t mod register general format now so as we said here in this t mod register 8 bits the lower order 4 bits are related to configure timer 0 so that is why here the 4 bits here are related for timer 0 whereas the higher order 4 bits are related for timer 1 so here if we consider these are all the higher order 4 bits that are related for timer 1 Okay. So, by using uh, these uh, 4 bits, timer 0 can be configured and by using these uh, higher order 4 bits, timer 1 can be configured. So, same bits we can observe here. So, here for timer 1, this is the gate bit and similarly for timer 0, this is the gate bit. So, if this gate bit is set or reset, that is cleared 0, what is the function that will be performed? Similarly here the common bit we have C by T bar that is for timer 1 and here also we can observe for timer 0 the same bit T, C by T bar. So here C represents counter and T represents timer. <coughs> and another common bit is in timer 1 M1 is there and in timer 0 also M1 is there. Similarly M0 related to timer 1 
and this is m not related to timer zero. Okay, so here this m not and m one bits of timer one, and this m not and m one bits of timer zero, these two bits together says the mode of operation. So if you are using this m not and m one bits of timer zero, we can set the operating mode of timer zero. If we use this m not and m one bits of timer one, we can uh, uh, configure the operating mode of timer one. Now we will discuss about all these bits that are present in this timer mode register. Now, so here coming to this uh, T mode register, we have seen that it is an 8-bit register. Lower order 4 bits are related for timer 0, and higher order 4 bits are related for timer 1. But common bits are there. Okay, so that is why here it is uh, represented. 7th and 3rd bit is the same bit but one is related to timer 0, another one is related to timer 1. <coughs> that bit is here, gate bit. Okay. So what is the purpose of this gate bit means? This gate bit only says to start and stop the counters. And the next bit is 6th and 2nd bit. Both these bits have the same operation. That is C by T bar. So here C represents counter and T represents timer. So this timer is active low. So especially this bit is used for selecting the timer or counter. And next two bits are fifth and first bit. Both are same. And that bit is nothing but M1. So this bit says timer counter operating mode. And fourth and zeroth bit both are same. That is M not. So this bit says timer counter operating mode. So this M not and M one, uh, these two bits together says the operating mode of a timer. Now, so if you see here this uh, T mod register format, it is an eight bit register. The Seventh bit is related to gate. Okay. And also we have uh, in timer 0 also gate bit. <coughs> so the gate bit, what is the uh, function of this gate bit means? The gate bit is used to operate the timer with respect to INT pin or irrespective of INT pin. So here INT means interrupt pin. So in 8051 microcontroller, pin diagram, uh, we can observe there are two interrupt pins. One is INT0, another one is INT1. So, this gate bit can be operated, uh, this gate bit can be used to operate timer with respect to interrupt pin or without interrupt pin. Now, we will see when this uh, gate bit is enabled what is the operation? When it is disabled, what is the operation? So, this gate bit is present in timer 0, that is in the lower order 4 bits and the gate bit is present in the higher order 4 bits also, which is related for timer 1. Now, so if this gate 1 means, here 1 represents that it is related to timer 1. If this bit is 1, it represents the timer 1 is started. In another case, this also gate 1, it represents the gate bit related for timer 1. If that bit is cleared, it indicates that the timer 1 is stopped. So, totally this gate bit indicates whether to start or stop the timer. Now, next is gate 0 because for in timer 0, that is lower order 4 bits also, one of the bit is gate bit. So, gate 0 means if it is set, timer 0 will be started. If it is cleared, timer 0 will be stopped. So, totally the gate bit represents whether to start or start the particular timer. Now, after gate bit, the next bit we can observe in the T mode register format is C by T bar. Okay. So, here C by T bar. Okay, so in this C represents that it is counter 
and T represents it is timer. So this C by T bar bit is used to select the source of the pulses for the timer to count. So once if the timer has started, the counter will be on and the counter counts up automatically and if it reaches to the maximum value, again if it counts up, then the value will be reached to 0. Overflow condition occurs. Now, so if this C by T bar, here 1 indicates that bit is related to timer 1. If that particular bit is set, it indicates it is operating in counter mode. If the C by T bar bit is 0, see here T bar, it represents it is active low. That means timer bit is active low. If that is made 0, it indicates it is operating in timer mode. Similarly, if C by T bar 0, this 0th bit indicates that it is related for timer 0. If it is set, the counter uh, mode will be operated that is related for timer 0. If the C by T bar uh, bit is 0, then it will be operating in timer mode. So, when the when it is operating in the timer mode, uh, it acts as a timer. It is used for um, calculating the delay and when it is uh, operating as a counter, it is used for counting the number of events happening outside the microcontroller. And so that is what about gate bit and C by T bar bits. Next two bits available are one is M0, another one is M1. So these two bits says the mode of operation. So if these two bits are 0, 0, the uh, timer will be operating in mode 0. So if it is operating in mode 0, we can call it as 13 bit counter. If the two bits are 0, 1, then it will be operating in mode 1. So when it is operating in mode 1, we can call it as a 16 bit counter. And when the two bits are 1, 0, it will be operating in mode 2. So when it is operating in mode 2, we can call it as 8 bit counter with auto reload. If the two bits are 1, 1, the uh, timer will be operating in mode 3. We can call it as 2 8 bit timer mode or another name for it is we can also call it as a split timer mode. So based on these uh, two bits of timer 0 and timer 1 in the Tmod register, we can decide the operating modes of timer. So that is what about uh, Tmod and uh, Tcon registers. Those are the two special function registers that are used in order to perform this uh, timer counter operations. Now, so some of the peripheral uh, data registers here are one is uh, TL0 and TH0, other one is TL1 and TH1. So generally here 0 indicates it is uh, timer uh, 0 and here timer 0 is a 16 bit timer. We can use it as two 8-bit timers by representing as TL0 and TH0. So here also 1 is there. So it indicates it is related to timer 1. It is also a 16-bit register. We can use it as two 8-bit registers as TL1 and TH1. So here this uh, peripheral data registers that is uh, TL0 and uh, TH0 or the two 8-bit registers that are related to timer 0. So timer 0 consists of two SFRs, one is TL0 and TH0. So TL0 and TH0 will be having its uh, fixed address in the uh, address space. So among this TL0 and TH0, this TL0 indicates the lower byte, whereas TH0 indicates the higher byte. And these together TL0 and TH0, they will give the 16-bit timer 0 register. So if you observe here, this is a timer 0 register, which is of 16-bit in size. That 16-bit register, that is from bit 0 to bit 15, 16-bit register it is. We can use it as two 8-bit registers, that is from bit 0 to bit 7. 
which is called TL naught and bit 8 to bit 15 which is called TH naught. So here this TL naught and TH naught these two are the uh, special function registers which are having the fixed address in the uh, address space. So for TL naught it is an 8 bit register. When the TL naught is reset all the bit values will be handling a value 0 and its fixed address will be ATAH and for TH naught it is also an 8 bit register that is from bit 0 to bit 7. So when this uh, TH naught register is uh, reset all the bits will be handling a value 0 and its fixed address in the address space is 8CH. Coming to TL1 and TH1, these are the two 8-bit registers that are related to timer 1. So, the timer 1 consists of two special function registers. One is TL1, another one is TH1. So, here TL1 and TH1 are the lower and higher bytes are related to timer 1. So, if you see here, this is the timer 1. It is a 16-bit register that is from bit 0 to bit 15. This 16-bit register can be split into two 8-bit registers. One is TL1, another one is TH1, which holds the bits from bit 0 to bit 7, that is TL1, and TH1 holds the bits from bit 8 to bit 15. Now, so here this uh, TL1 is one of the 8-bit special function register and it is an 8-bit register having the bits from bit 0 to bit 7. When this register is uh, reset, it holds the value, all the bits will hold a value 0 and it is having a fixed address 8B in the uh, internal address space that is the address space of special function register. And here TH1, it is another 8-bit uh, register related to a uh, timer 1. When this register is reset, all the registers will be holding a value 0. And the fixed address in the address space for this uh, TH1 register is 8D. Okay. Now, so that is what about the... Um, TMOD and uh, TCON registers of 8051 microcontroller. Now, so we have seen that uh, timers can be operated in different modes based on the M0 and uh, M1 bits. It can be operated in mode 0, mode 1, mode 2 and mode 3. So now we will see different uh, operating modes. So before going to that operating modes, First, we should see running of timers. That means uh, uh, how the internal circuit will be in order to control the running of timers. So, this is the internal circuit that is present. And this is the circuit which controls the running of the timers. So, here we can observe for this circuit. So, there is a crystal oscillator and it is divided by 12. After dividing the crystal oscillator frequency by 12, then only that particular frequency should be used and it should be provided for the timers. So, here why the crystal oscillator frequency should be divided by 12 means, as we know, in 8051 microcontroller, one machine cycle is consisting of totally 12 pulses. Okay, So, that is why it is required to uh, divide the crystal oscillator frequency by 12 as the machine cycle consists of 12 pulses and so here we can observe the TR bit. So what is this TR bit? That is one of the bit present in the uh, TCON register forward and another bit is here G bit that is called a gate bit and next here uh, INT which is uh, uh, interrupt that is input pin. Okay. So, here we can observe there is a switch present 
you have here c by t bar bit okay so c by t bar bit may be 0 or 1 c represents here counter and t represents timer okay so c by t bar so here t bar means it is active low if c by t bar is 1 counter operation will be performed if c by t bar is equal to 0 timer will be operated now so here is the and gate so based on the output of the end, uh, and gate uh, it will be decided uh, whether the t of uh, bit should be set or not okay now so we can see here different conditions here is c by t bar bit so that is uh, this is the bit that is present okay so here are the two conditions when that c by t bar bit is 1 what happens and when the c by t bar bit is 0 what is the operation okay so here is the c by t bar bit present now so when c by t bar bit is having a value high that means when by c by t bar bit is 1 it is going to configure the counter operation because here c by t bar means counter is active high and the timer is active low if that is one automatically this counter operation will be performed in the same way here when c by t bar bit is a uh, um, low value that is if it is zero so this t bar means it is active low signal if it is zero timer will be enabled so at this condition it is going to perform the timer operation and next bit is there here it is a gate bit and so if the gate bit is 1 that is high what is the operation if this gate bit is 0 what is the operation now so if the gate bit is 1 okay so timer 0 or timer 1 will be run mode when trx bit of tcon register is high that means in order to uh, run this timer 0 or timer 1 it is dependent on the trx bit of tcon register so in the same way here when this uh, g bit is 0 uh, okay so what happens when the c uh, gate bit is 0 uh, means so timer 0 or timer 1 will be in the run mode when the same trx bit of tcon register is high okay up to here it is also same in this condition along with this condition what it should be there along with this int not or int1 bit also should be high so along with this bit you have to consider this bit also okay so when this g bit is made as 0 so when this g bit is made as 1 we have to concentrate only on this trx bit of tcon register but whereas in another case if this g bit is 0 along with this uh, trx bit in the tcon register we should also consider this int bit also it should also be high okay so uh, while discussing about different uh, operating modes of this uh, uh, timer for uh, all the timer operating modes this part of the circuit will be same okay so this part here will differ based on the mode of operation so if you see here different modes of timer operation we can observe this part same okay so only this part will be changing based on the mode of operation now so in order to operate in different modes we have to use the two bits present in the t mode register that is m0 and m1 so by using these two bits we can operate timers in different modes so what are different modes of operation first one is mode 0 so mode 0 operating mode 0 can also be called as 13 bit counter operation another one is mode 1 you can call this mode 1 as 16 bit counter operation next comes mode 2 mode 2 is also called 8 bit operation with 
auto reload and the last mode of operation is mode 3 which can also be called as split operation or 2 8 bit uh, operations ok. So totally these are the 4 operating modes present in timer. So the timer can be operated in these 3 uh, these 4 operating modes with the help of these uh, M0 and M1 bits which are present in T mode register. That is why it is called as timer mode. So this is the register which is used to set the mode of operation. Now, so coming to detailed discussion about uh, each mode of uh, timer operation. The first mode is mode 1. Mode 1 can also be called as 13 bit counter operation. And so here timer 0 and timer 1 these two timers are 16 bit timers. So timer 0 is having TH0 and TL0 whereas timer 1 is having TH1 or TL1. Okay. So these registers are used as 13 bit counters. So, among these uh, 13 bit bits of this uh, TL0 or TH0, so for example, if we use timer 0, we have to go for using this TH0 and TL0 bits. If you are using timer 1, we have to use this uh, TH1 and TL1 bits. Okay. So, among these uh, 13 bits, 8 bits of TH0 or uh, TL, uh, TH1, and 5 lower bits of TL0 or TH1 are used for counting. So, this is 8 bits and this is 5 bits, totally 13 bits. Now, so when the counter rolls over from all 1s to zeros, what happens means interrupt the flag that is TF0 or TF1 is set. So, if it is timer 0, TF0 bit is set. If it is timer 1, TF1 bit is set. Now, so this is the circuit what we have uh, uh, studied already that is uh, in the uh, which controls the running of timer operation. Uh, we have studied about this circuit already. Now, so 13 bit counter operation. So here are the 13 bits represented here. And we have to see that when this TF0 bit, that is interrupt bit will be set. When the overflow condition occurs, this TF0 bit will be set. If this TF0 bit is set, interrupt will be generated. So, here this uh, TL0, here this is related for timer 0 we are speaking here. So, TL0 will be handling 5 bits and TH0 will be handling 8 bits. Now, so, here it is uh, given because uh, in the circuit if we observe there is uh, uh, C by T bar bit is there, gate bit is there and uh, INT 0 bit is there, another one is T or not. So, what is the operation of all these bits in 13 bit counter operation? So, here when C by T bar bit is 0, so T 0 means it is active low, T bar means timer bit, it is also active low bit. So, here it will be operating in timer mode and when it is operating in the timer mode, the counter will be automatically incremented by 1. Along with this setting C by T bar bit to 0, we should also see that this T or not because it is related to timer 0. If we use timer 1, we have to see that T or 1 bit should be set. And we should also see that the gate bit should be 1 and INT0 or INT1 pin also should be 1. So, when all these conditions are checked, then by sending a logic high signal on this INT0 signal, which is related to timer 0 or by sending a uh, logic high signal for uh, timer 1, then that particular timer will be started. And so, this is also the same 13 bit counter operation. Okay. So, here 13 bit counter operation means the pre previously we have seen related for uh, timer 0 and this is for timer 1. 
So here TH1 bit holds this 8 bits, whereas TL1 will be uh, the register holding this 5 bits. Now, so here timer 1 is selected. So here we can observe this one represents that it is a timer 1. So it is a 13 bit uh, counter operation. That is why in this case for every 32 events of counter operations or for every 32 mission cycles of timer operation, the TH1 register will be incremented by 1. So this is what the TH1 register. TH1 register will be incremented by 1. So when TH1 increments by 1, so since this TH1 is holding the 8 bit value, okay, so minimum value will be 0, 0 to represent with 8 bits and maximum value will be FF with the help of 8 bits. So if this TH1 is incremented, First it will be 0, 0, next it becomes 0, 1, next 0, 2. If it keep on incrementing by 1, at the last value of TH1 will be FF. So when it reaches the maximum value and again it uh, keeps incrementing by 1, the uh, again if it is incrementing by 1, the value again will be reached to 0, 0. Overflow occurs, that is rollover condition occurs and again it will be initialized to 0, 0. Okay. And uh, this uh, TF1 of the TCON register will be high, indicating that the overflow has occurred. And at that time, it is going to stop the timer counter. And another mode of operation is mode 1. So when it is operating in mode 1, we can call it as a 16-bit counter operation. So here, this is a circuit common to the previous circuit. That means, uh, uh, which says what should be this T0 bit, T or not bit, gate bit, INT0 bit, what should be all these bits, okay. So, here in order to say that uh, it is a 16 bit uh, counter operation, so here this TL0 is holding the 8 bits and TH0 is holding the 8 bits. So, in this case we are talking about uh, timer 0, okay. So, totally this 8 bits and this 8 bits together form 16 bit. Now, so the operation whatever we have discussed in mode 0 that is 13 bit counter, the operation is same for this uh, 16 bit counter operation also. Okay. So, but this uh, TH0 and TL0 that is related to timer 0 will be holding 8 bits and uh, another 8 bits. If it is a timer 1, 8 bits will be handled by TH1 and other 8 bits will be handled by TL1. So, when the count value rolls over from all 1s, that is FFFF, so here it is a 16 bit uh, uh, counter operation. So, the minimum value will be 0000, 0, 0, 0 in the 16 bit case. And if the counter is counting up, incrementing up, Next it goes to 0, 0, 0, 0001, next 0, 0, 0, 0002, and last it becomes for FFF, F, F. Okay. So after reaching this uh, maximum 16 bit value, again if the counter counts up, then the rollover condition will occur and automatically the interrupt flag bit will be set. So here the interrupt flag bit, uh, if it is timer 0, it is represented as TF0. If it is timer 1, it is represented as TF1. So, when the overflow occurs, this interrupt flag bit will be set. And so, similarly, this is a 16 bit counter operation simply easily represented here. So, here it is a, a 16 bit saying that this is TH0 and TL0 handling 8 bits by TL0 and 8 bits by TH0. Okay, so when this TF0 bit will be set means when the overflow condition occurs. That means uh, when the maximum value that is FFFF is reached, again if the counter is incremented by 1, the overflow condition occurs. At that time, this TF0 bit will be set. So in this case, for every event, for uh, counter operation or missing cycle, for the timer operation, 
the TH0 and TL0 register pair will be incremented by 1. Okay. So, register pair means one is of 8 bit, another is of 8 bit. So, totally it will be 16 bit. So, the starting value will be 0, 0, 0, 0 for the 16 bit. Okay. And the maximum value will be FF, F, F. So, when the counter is incremented by 1, if it reaches the maximum value, okay, if it is again incremented by 1, so it goes to 0, 0, 0, 0 because overflow occurs, interrupt flag bit will be set. Okay. So, here this is uh, related to timer 0. When the overflow condition occurs, the TF0 bit which is present in the T cone register will be set. If this flag bit is set, then automatically the timer counter operation will be stopped. And next mode of operation is mode 2. Mode 2 operation can also be called as uh, 8 bit operation with uh, auto reload. Okay. So, why? Because here it is 8 bit operation. So, the value that is handled by this TL0 is only of 8 bit. Okay. So, auto reload means the value will be reloaded into this TL0 register with the help of this TH0 auto reload. And the circuit that is present at this side will be same as the previous discussion. Okay. Now we have to see when this uh, TF0 bit will be set and when the interrupt is generated and when the timer counter is going to stop. Now, so only TL0 or TL1 will be used to hold the 8 bit value. Okay. So, if it is timer 0, 8 bit value will be handled by TL0 bit. So, this is what here. Okay. And if it is timer 1, this uh, TL1 will be holding the 8 bits. So, initial present value will be loaded into TH0 or TH1 with the help of software. Whereas, the value that is loaded into this uh, TL0 and TH1 okay will be with the help of hardware automatically before counting the operation that means before starting counting the operation okay so the 8 bit value will be loaded into tl0 and th0 with the help of hardware whereas the 8 bit value will be loaded into this uh, th0 and uh, th1 with the help of software now when the counter rolls over okay so this tl I mean, this uh, TH0 and TL1, TH1 will be holding 8 bits. Okay. So, the maximum value will be from 0, 0. If the counter increments, it becomes 0, 1, 0, 2, so on. The maximum value will be FF. Okay. So, here, when the value of this uh, TL0 is overflowed, that is, uh, if it reaches the maximum value FF, and again, if the increment has happened, it goes to the value 0, 0. So, when the count rolls over from all 1s, how to represent here FF? F means 1, 1 and another F means 1, 1. Okay. And so, automatically this TF0 bit or TF1 bit. So, if you take timer 0, TF0 bit will be set. If we take timer 1, TF1 will, bit will be set. Okay. When the overflow occurs, that particular flag bit of TCON register will be set. If that particular uh, uh, bit is set, the present value which is available in this TH0 and uh, uh, TH1 will be loaded into TL0 or TL1. That is what uh, it is called auto reload. Okay. So, if this is... Uh, automatically reloading the values from this uh, TH0 and TH1 into TL0 or TL1, the counter timer operation cannot be stopped. Okay. So, since it is reloading automatically after each uh, overflow condition, the counting will be starting automatically. So, the same thing here, but here we have considered uh, timer 1. So, here this TL1 will have the 8 bit, it will be loaded with the hardware and this TH1 also have 8 bits, it will be loaded with the 
software okay so once if it reaches the maximum value and workflow condition occurs automatically this th1 uh, 8 bit register value will be reloaded into this tl1 so that the timer uh, counter operation will be continued automatically so in this case for every count of counter operations or machine cycles for timer operation the value of tl1 register will be incremented by 1 so from 0 0 if it increments by 1 maximum it reaches to ff after reaching ff it is again incremented it reaches to 0 0 h so when this condition occurs what happens overflow arises so then the tf1 bit of the tcon register will be high and also tl1 is going to reload with a value which is present in this th1 so that the uh, operation will be starting again and another mode of operation is here mode 3 which is called as a split operation so here also the crystal oscillator frequency and all will be dividing by 12 all the operation will be same as the previous circuit what we have discussed that means how to set this gate bit what about this int 0 bit okay tr not bit what happens when this c by t bar bit is 0 and 1 everything will be same okay so here uh, these two things we have to consider here so it is called a split operation why because the operation is splitted here so this uh, timer 0 if we talk about so this is a tl not which is related to timer 0 and this is th not which is related to timer 0 but this is tl handling 8 bits and this is th handling another 8 bits but the operation is separately done so it is called split operation so when this condition is met this uh, tf0 bit will be set and when this th0 uh, 8 bits condition is reached this tf1 bit will be set okay now so when the timer 0 is working in mode 3 the operation is different compared to mode 0, mode 1 and mode 2. So in this case the TL0 will be used as 8 bit timer counter and it will be controlled by standard timer 0 control bits that is T0 and INT0 inputs. So here the standard timer 0 control bits are T0 and INT0 inputs. Whereas the TH0 is used as 8 bit timer but not as a counter now so this is controlled by timer 1 control bit that is tr1 so here all these conditions are only for timer 0 when it is operating in mode 3 so different condition will be there for timer 1 and so when th0 that is for timer 0 overflows it will be reaching to maximum value ff and again if it is incremented it goes to 0 0 value then automatically this tf1 bit will be set so if the, the tf1 bit is set the timer counter operation will be stopped in another, that is what for a timer 0 when it is operating in mode 3 but coming to here timer 1 when it is operating in mode 3 it is going to simply hold the count value but it will not run so when timer 0 is operating in mode 3 the timer 1 can be configured in one of the three modes that is either it can be operated in mode 0 mode 1 or mode 2 so when timer 1 is working in mode 3 it cannot interrupt the microcontroller and so when this tf1 is used by th0 timer the timer 1 is used as a baud rate generator so that means when this uh, timer 1 is working in mode 3 there is also possibility of setting the baud rate now so that is what about different uh, operating modes of uh, timer okay so timers are used to produce the delay so how we can calculate the delay means 
first we have to divide the crystal oscillator frequency by 12 and that thing should be given to the timer. So here why we have to divide the crystal oscillator frequency by 12 means because in this 8051 microcontroller one mission cycle consists of 12 pulses. So the 8051 microcontroller operating frequency is 11.0592 MHz and that is the frequency for 12 pulses. So if you want to calculate the frequency for a single pulse, so for one clock pulse the total frequency by 12. Why 12 means? Because one mission cycle consists of 12 pulses and the total oscillating frequency for 12 pulses is 11.0592 MHz. Then the frequency value will be 0.921 MHz. In order to calculate the time delay, the formula is 1 by F. Okay. So T means 1 by F. So here the F value what we got is 0.921 MHz. Then the time delay that has occurred for one cycle, we can measure here. It becomes 1.080506 micro seconds. So this is what the procedure we have to follow in order to calculate the delay in timers. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.